Jean Christophe. Good morning and welcome in Shanghai. Is it morning? It's nearly, it's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, it's a good time. <laughs> it's, it's always a good time. Jean Christophe, we are here to, to launch the Serpenti uh, Sigitori, but I actually want to start somewhere else. Please. Because there's something you did that has never left my mind, and, and I, I want to know if you would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Last time we spoke, you talked about Bulgari's goal for high complications to be wearable every day. And we're yeah. having a very in-depth conversation. We're talking about this as a, uh, you know, conceptual level. Mm-hmm. And while you were talking, you, you reached down and you you took your watch off. Mm-hmm. And do you remember what you did? Yeah, yeah. What did you do? I dropped it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At Tervio, he drops it. And <laughs> I just wonder, I wonder if you would do it again. Well, you know... Because uh, <laughs> we're your, filming this time. <laughs> to, to, to your point, uh, very funny, uh, I was in Tibet this summer, uh, just for myself, because mm. I, I love backpacking and traveling. And I had with me uh, an Octo Turbillon, and I've written a book on it. The goal of my book uh, was to show the Octo Finissimo, complicated, uh, in a very tough environment. Wow. Uh, An adventurous snow, mm. rock climbing, <laughs> rather than diving into icy waters, contact with salty sands and so forth. So, uh, yes, uh, for me, it's really important that a uh, complication watch be wearable and therefore be as sturdy as a normal watch, even though I'm conscious that with 1000 components in the Grand Sonnery, of course. Uh, you cannot pretend to reach exactly the same level uh, of resistance to some shocks in particular. I think when it comes to water resistance, to accuracy, uh, it's virtually the same. But when it comes obviously to shock resistance with 1000 components of the ground sonry, it's a bit more difficult. Said that, uh, my Octo has survived from its uh, Octo Finissimo adventures. I heard so many people telling me, look, Jean-Christophe, uh, Finissimo is great, uh, but being so thin, uh, it cannot be my daily watch because it's surely too fragile. And mm. I said that it's absolutely not an argument. Uh, the conception of the watch has been to be a daily watch, and it's sturdy. But then at a certain point, you have to prove it. Mm. which I decided to do during my vacations <laughs> because, uh, you know, I like adventures and I like photography. So I made a two-in-one and the book will be soon available. Well, that is not what I expected, but that was definitely one of the most memorable moments in an interview. <laughs> so if we're talking about, we, we, we would like to pull this, this one out. In Some others you want to pull? Uh... Uh, well, <laughs> we keep throwing them around. It's, it's, always, it's always a twist. No, this but, is uh, this is to uh, to man what is the Serpenti secret watch to ladies. That is yes. for ladies. Obviously, uh, the secret watch was born as Serpenti. And uh, an animal opening his mouth is obviously the best way to hide a watch because the watch is in the mouth and the snake uh, is a perfect platform and that's why it was born uh, as a square watch in 1947. For a man it's a bit different because a uh, few men would have an animal around the wrist mm-hmm. uh, and therefore we thought that the best way uh, to have cigarette watches was to use uh, one of men's patients, coins especially antique coins. Mm. Men have this passion for collecting uh, the most precious coins from Byzantine, Greek, Roman uh, areas. Because I assume seeing this coin, that this was a rendition, but this is an actual coin. Now, those are all uh, certified original coins. This is from Constantine uh, Emperor times. Look at the sharpness of this one. Mm. Uh, This one not, not only has survived perfectly, but it's like it had been minted yesterday. And, and that's we, 1700 years old. Exactly. And this is uh, obviously a piece of history on your wrist. Didn't stay in a drawer. Mm. Uh, it traveled probably more than you and I together in a lifetime uh, in dramatic conditions, wars, uh, sinkings of ships, battles, uh, hidden treasures, tombs, mm. whatever to reappear. It appeals to the man, doesn't it? That, yeah. that adventure. So you have a piece of history, which has been a witness of 2000 years mm. of, of history. You have a glass case on the upside, but on the underside, it's the, the naked coin. Yeah, exactly. So you get to have, have some uh, tactile feels. 
no, we have an Unset Purposely, and then you have another Sapphire, obviously, mm. so that to watch. Uh, you were talking about resistance, be waterproof, humidity proof, shock proof by, by all means. But I, I find it extremely elegant, and uh, mm. one of the challenges is to find enough good quality coins to do those watch as they are all one of a kind. Also, because it's very rare that two coins have the same dimensions. 